on the team and I can contribute. First game of the season, I, uh, I came off the bench and I was kind of pissed. I was hoping I'd start. Didn't start. Okay, whatever. Came off the bench like five minutes into my first game, scored a goal. Scored a goal. We won the game 3-2. Never forget it. And I was like, sweet. Came in, scored a goal. We won. I'm going to start from now on. Next game, back on the bench. I was like, all right, I guess coach, coach didn't get the point the first time. <laughs> so, so the next game, I'll never forget. I, I was on a mission. And that's the thing is, you know, when you talk about athletes and, and even whoever it is, people that want to be successful at their craft, it's okay to have personal goals and find a way for that to fit into the team setting. There's a difference between being selfish and setting personal goals. Huge difference, right? Because for me, it wasn't like, oh, I want to score goals and screw my teammates on Virginia and screw the coach. I want the glory and I want all the attention. No, that stuff will come with success. You know, the point is, how can I help this team? How can I show my teammates and my coaches that I want to help this team? How can I show that I can help them go from here to here, right? And those are the little things. Um, and everyone has a role. I heard Lloyd talking about it. Uh, with some of you guys earlier today. Everyone has a role, right? And it's the cycle of life, man. High school, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. College, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. You go to the workplace, whether you're an athlete, guess what? You start, you're a rookie, turn into a veteran, right? You go to an office place, same thing. You're a rookie. You come through, you're the new guy. It's, it's, there's a chain of command in whatever you do, right? Um, and it's the same thing it, it, as, as a college freshman. I had to bite my lip, keep my ego in check, listen to everything people said. Um, in the back of my head, I knew what I could do and I was eager to burst out, but it's all about timing, obeying your, your elders, you know, respecting them and just waiting for the opportunity. And the whole point with training and putting the work in is that when that opportunity comes, you better be ready for it. Because for some people it only comes once. For some people they get really lucky and it comes a hundred times. Some people don't even have to work for it and they just get handed an opportunity. They're the lucky ones, right? You can't predict it. But if you want a sure way to find success, you're ready for that one opportunity and you're not taking any chances. Um, and with me at UVA, I had that first opportunity. I did well. Again, I was